click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the complex compounds or we have discussed about that is coordination compounds and out of which we have also discussed that is there are certain groups which donates the lone pair of electron to the central metal atom forming coordination compound. So based on that let us understand what are those compounds called and what is the meaning of ligand. So friends, now let us understand what is the meaning of ligand actually. So the molecules or ions which are coordinated to the central atom or ion in the coordination compound are called as ligands or known as donor groups. For example, suppose if I am considering the central metal atom as iron. Obviously you understand that is Fe is electropositive and that's the reason that there would be many groups that will be associated with the Fe that is the iron but there are also certain groups which will try to donate the lone pair of electron to the central atom and that is Fe. So in that case this is one of the example that is I am just showing over here where these are the groups these are the certain groups which have the capacity to donate the load pair of electron and that's the reason they are known as donor groups which is also known as ligands so they all are donating the load pair of electron to the central atom and in this case it is Fe so based on that let us understand what are the different types of ligands and now let us understand that how basically ligands are classified depending on their charge so we understood that is the ligands are those groups of atoms or they are those atoms or ions which donate the lone pair of electron to the central metal atom. So in that case they are said to be that is Lewis base while the central atom is called to be Lewis acid. But we have also discussed that the ligands are of various types and based on the classification based on the charge of it. So this is what I'm going to talk about that is they are classified into three types that is negative ions, positive ions and neutral molecules that is I'm talking about the ligands. So talking about the negative ions that is Cn minus in that case it is known as cyanide, nitride that is NO2 minus, OH that is known as hydroxyl, NO3 that is nitrate, F minus that is fluoride, Cl that is chloride, this is bromide and this is oxide that is O2. So in that case this all are nothing but the negative ion ligands and now let me talk about that is the positively charged ions and in that case they are behaving like ligands so in that case i am talking about the first one that is no plus which is known as nitrocelium ion talking about the next one that is n2h5 which is also known as hydrogenium and talking about the neutral molecules that is co that is carbonyl nh3 that is amino or amine talking about the next one that is h2o which will be called as aqua or which is known as that is water the next one is NH2OH which is also known as hydroxylamine and the next one is ch 3 nh 2 which is known as methylamine. So therefore this all are basically neutral molecules and this is the most important part that is I am discussing about here because in the future topics we are going to talk about the same ligands and depending on the charge we could able to find out certain effective numbers so that would be very much important so as to understand the oxidation number of the central metal atom. So in this case this is nothing but the ligands and the classification of ligands based on the charge and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this topic very clearly and there are more topics that is i am going to talk about so stay tuned to this channel and don't forget to subscribe ekira channel thank you so much